Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In today's video, it's going to be an interesting one as On One has just released their 2023 edition. So we're going to talk about the pros and cons of On One 2023 and whether you should get it. So On One 2023 costs 99 US dollars, which is an amazing value when you consider all the features On One possesses. And with 2023, they've improved their major weakness and added even more features. So let's talk about the major upgrades. At number one is Super Select AI. So with Super Select AI, On1 claims that you just point and click to edit regions and objects effortlessly, and it's supposed to make your photo editing so much easier and faster. So let's try Super Select AI. So as you can see from the left panel here, there is now a new Super Select AI icon so it's very convenient now to do the selection so all you need to do for the selection is actually to just choose super select and then just hover over the the object so as you can see as I hover over the object the object gets selected and it's very fast now this super select does remind me of Luminar's mask AI so if you've seen my video of Luminar's mask AI you know it takes much longer to detect the objects but here it's super fast so that's very impressive from on one let's demonstrate this by selecting the shadow area and brightening it and so all you need to do is just hover over it and just click and it's selected so as you can see the selection is pretty accurate and so if you want to cover the rest of the area you simply have to just hover over it and then select so as you can see, the AI has segmented the image into different objects. It's really a big change in the way they do the selections. So once you're done with this selection, you can just right click it and then you can just choose any of these adjustments. Now I will say that there are a lot of choices here and I think there might be too many. I think for the human eye, it's hard to go through all of these things and just make the selection. However, for lightening, I would just choose here, lighten. Okay, and that brings up the local panel here and you can see that the mask here has been created you can actually view that so it has been created very nicely and very accurately and then you can of course change the presets here if you wish no? now of course uh, presets usually won't do the trick you need to actually manually edit these things so what I'm gonna do here is just increase the shadows brighten up the shadows here like so and maybe adjust the structure and perhaps I would also enhance the saturation of this thing. And then let's just, let's just adjust the blacks as well. All right, so there you go. So very easy. As you can see, you didn't have to do any brushing. Just point on the object and it will be selected. So let's do the same for the sky. Create a new layer for the sky. And all you need to do is just click Add Adjustment. Just choose Super Select again. And then just hover over the sky like so and you can see it is selected right then right click and then you just choose any adjustment so I'm just gonna choose here darken to darken the sky and that basically chooses the darken preset here you can also adjust the highlights here if you wish I think I won't do that and just keep it like that okay okay so once you're done okay, and you can just uh, compare so this is the before and the after so very easy workflow now with this Super Select. I think it's a huge upgrade. And once again, the speed of the AI is really impressive. Let's try another image just to demonstrate the capabilities of this Super Select further. Okay, so let's try a Super Select on this image here. So again, we'll just click Edit to this. And once again, we're just going to choose here Super Select. And now let's just brighten up this, this person right here. So we're just going to hover over it like so now you can see that one of the problems of super select is it doesn't always get the object correctly so in this case basically if you zoom onto it you can see that the mask is spilling over the boat okay so it is not perfect so one issue i have with super select which i think is a downgrade from the previous quick mask ai is that you can't modify the super select mask you can't modify the super select mask automatically 
with quick mask AI, you could actually doodle over over certain parts, whether you add or remove from the mask. But for this, um, it's basically this is basically what it has selected. So you can't make changes to this using Super Select AI. You have to use another brush to demonstrate this. So again, I'm going to select this. Just click on that. Okay. So again, errors in the selection. And then let's just right click here, and then I'm just going to adjust here, and then bright lighten it like so. And then we can maybe we won't use exposure for this, but let's just use let's just enhance the shadows here. Okay, let's just enhance the shadows. Okay, so let's let's zoom on this a little bit. All right, so if you zoom into this, you can see there are errors in the masking. Right, you can actually see this when you do the exposure. Okay, you can see that the mask is actually spilling over. You could actually have to modify this mask. So what you can do is you can actually refine this mask now. So uh, to see it better, we can actually just paint with color here, right? And so what we can do is click on the refine button here. Okay, so we can choose any of these things. I prefer actually to use the refine brush. That seems to be the easiest to use. So let's just use that. So what you want to do here is just go and click paint out. So it's already set to paint out. There's actually two options, paint in and paint out. So paint out will erase basically so what you want to do is just brush over the edges on one's refined brush will try to understand what has been selected and remove those parts which need to be removed so let's just just go over the edges here okay and then just release and you can see now it's slowly but surely improving the selection all right so as you can see if there were any errors in the super select selection you need to do a little bit of work. Let's just remove this. And so you can see now it's a lot better in terms of the spillover of the mask. Okay, so if you want to enhance this boat, so let's just do that as well. Let's uh, darken this boat. So again, we'll just click on Super Select AI. Now what we can do here is you can just, um, let's just add an adjustment here. Okay, so that we have a new layer and then we'll just use a Super Select. And then let's just select the boat, right? Like so. We basically have to hope and pray that it will select properly. Now you can see here, even I'm selecting this white area of the boat, it's actually selecting the person. So you actually cannot, you can't select on this. So you can see there's imperfections. Oops. Okay. So you can see this not imperfect, right? Because if I, if I hover over here, it selects the person and that's not what we want. So there's no way to adjust this. As I said, in quick mask AI, the previous 2022 quick mask AI, you could actually improve the mask by doodling on more points to make the on one understand which parts had to be masked. But here you can, can't seem to do it. We'll just have to accept this and use the refine mask to improve the selection or to correct this selection. So let's just right click this first and apply this. So we'll set adjustment and then I'm going to just darken this. Okay, like so. So as you can see now we have actually two layers here, right? So this layer is the layer for the boat. Don't worry if the adjustment is not correct, you, you can actually modify that. We can reduce the effect of the exposure here like so like that now let's correct this the missing part here so what we can do is just let's, let's just view the overlay here so we can see what else is, needs correction what i'm going to do here is just again use the refine mask here so in this case i want to paint in because i want i want to mask these parts here so i'm just gonna just and sort of fix all these missing portions here Okay, there you go. All right, that looks properly selected. Let's just remove this overlay here and now you can see a proper selection. So that was fairly good, fairly easy to do, definitely much better than the previous methodology. So as you can see for improving the mask, we actually use the, ref the refine tool. I would have preferred that On One actually improves their brush, right? So On One does have a masking brush here. The masking brush with edge detection is still not is still not usable. So that brings us to the number two upgrade for On One 2023, and that's Tack Sharp AI. So Tack Sharp AI is supposed to smartly sharpen blurred images. So the blurring could be caused by a bunch of factors, camera shake, motion blur. So it's supposed to improve that. So let's just try it out with this image. So you can see, if you can zoom in, it, this is a blurred shot, right? And so let's see how On One performs in this image. So all you have to do is just go to noise and sharpening here and then just click Tack Sharp AI. So it's, it's in the same panel as the no noise AI. Let's click on Tack Sharp AI. 
and there it's done okay and so you can see the difference here I think it's pretty obvious that it works really well look how sharp that is with one click and a nice touch provided by on one is you could actually use both no noise and tack sharp with one click right so automatic improvement you don't have to think about it just click on both okay so let's just try this with tack sharp AI and see if this does anything okay so for this image um, I think there was some marginal improvement not as impressive as the previous one but uh, this one was a lot more blurred so I can see some minor improvements but not as good as the previous one All right so I guess you can test it out with your own images and see if tack sharp AI is something that you're gonna use a lot so that brings us to the bottom line do I recommend this upgrade well the answer there is I do actually recommend on one 2023 I think after using super select I believe it is a big jump in improvement I really believe that this is the future of making selections where you don't need to do excessive brushing but just just use AI to actually select the object automatically and I think this technology will improve and get better and better that being said after extensive testing super select does make mistakes it's very rare that you're gonna get the mask perfect and so I still think on one needs to improve their basic masking brush and implement an edge detection which actually works similar to Lightroom and Capture One so the main reason to upgrade would be super select AI now what about tack sharp AI well while its results are very good in some of the images in general it's not as useful as on one no noise AI so I believe it's best to keep expectations in check you still need to use proper technique to get your images sharp as tack sharp won't work for most blurred photos but it's a nice addition to have and we're thankful to on one for putting it in well I hope you found this video helpful so if you agree or disagree do put it down in the comments I'd like to hear from you and if you like this type of content please make sure to like subscribe and share this to help keep the videos coming and till the next video I'm gonna see you in the next one bye for now